All right, previously we hit these cinder blocks with 223, 556, 762 by 39, 270 Winchester, 450 Bushmaster, and 30 out 6. I'll put a link in the description of that video if you missed it and you want to check it out. But for all videos like this, just go ahead and check out the caliber comparison playlist on the channel. Uh, but today I'm doing shotgun slugs. So we got 410, 20 gauge, and 12 gauge. And for the 410, I'm going to use the 3 inch to give the four, little 410 as best chance as possible here. And then we're just using the standard 2 and 3 quarter inch length. Uh, for the 20 gauge and 12 gauge slugs and these are all just going to be your standard foster type lead slugs soft lead and you know the back base of them is a uh, hollow where you can like on the 12 gauge you can probably get your pinky in the back of it but they're all the soft lead foster design type slugs or as some as you, some as you may know them as uh, rifled slugs for smooth bore barrels now i'm sure some of you are going to say use this slug or use that slug you know i'm sure brennicky is going to come up a lot if i don't mention it now because the brennicky slugs are a lot harder uh you know these being soft soft lead they're just kind of going to kind of smash when they hit but we're going to start off with these soft lead foster type see what these do and i will have a video coming up where it will do just 12 gauge but i'll try different types of slugs and we'll start with the foster and then i'll use like a brennicky I'll see what else I can find and then also use some Sabbat slugs, maybe some all coppers or something like that. So have that to look forward to as well coming up. All right, so here's the ammo I'm going to use. I mean, you pretty much already saw it down there, but for the 410, like I said, I'm going with 3 inch. That way, little 410 has as much chance as possible to punch through these blocks. Quarter ounce slug there you get with the 3 inch instead of a fifth ounce slug in the 2.5 inch. I'm going to use this Remington for the 20 gauge. I do have the Winchesters here, um, but the statistics are real close to the 12 gauge. It's the exact same velocity. It's just a quarter ounce lighter. So I'm actually going to use the Remington Slugger instead, which is a 5 eighths ounce slug. So a little bit lighter. That way there's a little different contrast there between the 20 gauge and 12 gauge. Otherwise, we might have practically the same results. Um, and I don't know, is 5 eighths you know a standard weight for a 20 gauge slug or is three quarter ounce i'm not sure it can depend on who you go with but for that reason because the velocity is the same and the weight's too close i'm going to use the 5 8 remington for the 20 gauge and then that's the 12 gauge we're using one ounce 1600 feet per second here's the guns we're using this crappy citadel 12 gauge here uh h and r um for the 20 gauge and i got my rossi youth 410 up there um, and if you want to see reviews on any of these shotguns, I'll put the link in the description for those videos as well if you want to check them out. All right, first up 410, then we'll go 20 gauge and then 12 gauge. Ah. <laughs> I got brick in the face. <laughs> Uh, do not try this at home. See, I did a similar video like this with pistols, and I put on a motorcycle helmet and hid behind a table and all that, and a lot of people were talking crap, saying I looked ridiculous and I didn't need all that. Well, I just had brick come back in my face, so that's exactly why I did that in that video. Let's go see what happened. A <laughs> nice, perfectly little symmetrical hole. I shot a little high, but hey, there's a little piece of lead. Built some up back there. So, yeah, that's just powder. I mean, I didn't really expect anything more, but so that's what you get with the 410. Went through one side. 20 gauge.
Oh, nice. Big chunk of, yeah, it looks like lead. So, it looks like I hit a little off to the right here, but as long as we're not hitting these cross beams, that's all that matters. That way there's no, you know, extra structure there to stop it from going through. And, yeah, see it hit right here. I was kind of anticipating stuff flying back in my face, so I pulled that a little. So there's what's left of that. Well, there's another big chunk. Cool. And then, yeah, just powder, no indentation there. So it's about what I expected because these are soft lead. Like I said, we'll have some burning keys coming up and like maybe some all copper uh, Sabbath slugs. And you know, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. No promise I can get them, uh, but I'm definitely going to have another 12 gauge version coming up with a variation of slugs to see what'll get through and what won't. So with that, let's go try the 12 gauge now. Here we go with the 12 gauge. Okay, looks like probably just a little slightly left from my little paint dot there. And it took out the back <laughs> as well. Oh, sweet. Still warm, almost hot. Yeah, it's hot, it's starting to burn me. I'm surprised that held together as well as it did. So there's what's left from the 12 gauge. I don't think it did anything to that obviously busted out the the rear there and there's where it uh would have impacted i'm sure it just bounced off i mean there's no impact or anything like that you can see a little bit of dust it threw on it but so the 12 gauge considerable difference there as one might expect so it looks like we got uh, through the two walls there with the 12 gauge and that's cool that it got this left from it because even the 20 gauge the slug broke up but it, 12 gauge it mostly held together so there's all three side by side 410 there 20 gauge 12 gauge so for those of you that made it to the end here without skipping or closing out the video by now i got a little bonus footage for you so i'm going to take each one of these the exact same slugs i just used and i'm going to hit the steel gong there it's a 16 inch but it's only quarter inch thick uh, so it's meant for pistols but because these soft lead slugs they ain't you're really going to do nothing to it so it'll be fine but i'm going to hit that uh once with each just kind of be like a little demonstration of uh, uh energy difference between one to the next i guess and just for reference that's 25 yards out so here we go with the 410 20 gauge. Twelve gauge. Just wanted to see if this actually did anything to my plate out here. Hit this with a 25 shot, 25 out six earlier, 100 yards. <laughs> Left a nice little dent in it right there. You can uh, 
well, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but nice little bump there. Like I said, it's a quarter inch. It's meant for pistols. So uh, I'm going to say that was a 410. Well, one of these was. That's got a little divot. That's got a little tiny divot. You know, 410 and 20 both hit here. And there's a 12 gauge. A little bit larger dent there, but not bad. You can barely feel it on the back side. So that's that guys like i said i just previously did this with all the rifles i mentioned at the beginning of the video if you want to see that link in the description also i've done this with pistols 22 389 40 45 and you know i've done this with like watermelon cantaloupe cabbages um water bottles pop bottles and i got a lot of other fun targets coming up for all that kind of stuff again go check out the caliber comparisons playlist on the channel and don't forget, like I said, I will be trying some different 12-gauge slugs coming up. Some burning keys, some probably all-copper Sabbath slugs, and whatever else I can find. Leave your uh, suggestions down in the comment below. I'll see what I can do. I'm also working on my revolver collection. Uh, so have revolvers coming up at some point, hopefully at the later end of this year. Uh, hopefully I'll have all my revolvers by then. I'm going to do uh, 22, uh, 38 Special, 357 Magnum. Uh, 45 Colt, 44 Mag, three, uh, maybe a 327 in there. Obviously, eventually I'd like to get up to, you know, like 454 Casol and 500 Smith & Wesson and stuff like that. But anyways, that'll be coming at some point. I'm working on acquiring all of those. I currently have a 22 Magnum, so I, I got to get the rest. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you made it clear to the end, if you guys want to get any of the products you see me using my videos, like my steel targets there, target stand, targets I use, earmuffs, safety glasses, and more. Links in the description for all of that. Thanks for watching as always, and I hope to catch you on the next one.